Hey everybody, I'm Dick Coughlin, Brother Neuro, here with a video I wasn't planning on making, but then, you know, the ones that are a bit more spontaneous are always a bit thing, aren't they? Uh, anyway, the reason for this is because uh, I didn't find, I didn't, I wasn't aware of this video until yesterday, and I figured, you know, fuck it, why not? I'll go for it, right? It's 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 the guy who I've made video responses to in the past. I actually haven't made a video response, I think, since about 2013 at this stage. But it's a guy who you know, we all know, everyone knows. He's just, he's been here, he's been here since, the, since the before times. He's one of the few constants that has been here uh, without fail. He's like gravity. If gravity was a massive prick, basically. It's Onisian Gregory. And I am not even going to fucking try and conceive of possibly going through any amount of the past, you know, involved of Greg's journey. You either know it or you don't. You've either heard, the odds are, even if you've never really heard of him, he's one of those people who you only ever hear about when they're doing something awful. You know, you never see, you never see, if their name's being brought up, in like, or it's people are so there's some drama involving it, you know it's because he's done something fucking awful, fucking stupid, and he's, he's fucking playing the, he's playing his little victim card, he's got his bunker filled with all his fucking pubeless little pink assed like, you know, to, you know, adolescent fa fans. You know, you know the, the next one, you know, the next Mrs. Gregory is walking around there. Interesting fact here. Um, I realised this the other day. Uh, that uh, I was thinking my original, the first ever uh, email account that I ever made on the internet uh, was an AOL email account. And I realised the other day um, that my email, that email account is now over 18 years old. Which means... My email account, if it was a person, if it was a woman, if, I, if it was an, if it, my email account was an, was actually a human lady, she would be too old for Onision because she'd be older than all of his fucking wives. Think of that. There are, imagine this, imagine being this fucker. All right, Gregory, right? You're marrying people who are younger than some people's email addresses. All right? I mean, there's probably something fun about that, but I don't know if you can base a relationship on it. Uh, now, Gregory has decided you will be, you probably haven't heard because no one really watches his videos anymore. Not that I'm one to, you know, but he's got three channels with, you know, two with a, one and a half million subs, one with over two million. And he gets, you know, couple, he gets barely 10,000 views, if anything. This video is called, and you'll be ready for this, Blazerman. You ready? It's called Thank You and Goodbye. Now, I, now before you say anything, I realise that YouTubers saying, making farewell videos, particularly YouTubers like Gregory, you know, um, uh, can, aren't always reliable. You know, they're not always, you know, they're not always, you know, they, it tends to not be goodbye. It tends to be testing the water. But I really do think that this is it. Uh, apparently... And it's got nothing to do, by the way, with everything he's ever done. You know, all of that shit. It's, it's because, of, it seems anyway, it seems that it's because uh, YouTube are no longer, uh, have decided they're not going to monetize his content anymore. You know, thanks for that, YouTube. Only took you 13 years. I, I've been demonetized. I got demonetized fucking before it was even a before monetize. I didn't even know what the word demonetize mean. I've never been knew what monetization was anyway. So it, now it's no, he's make, not making any money, and um, and it's pretty desperate. Isn't it? Saying that the amount of views he's getting, I can't believe he would be making much money. But then, whereas most people in his position would probably set up a Patreon, he can't really do that, can he? Because his audience are of a certain age where the only way they could donate to Patreon is if they ask, if they get their mum to use their credit card. So, 
Uh, I think he might just be knocking it on the ears. But before he left, he has to say thank you and goodbye. But it's not really thank you and goodbye. Um, he's not as magnanimous as that. No, this is basically Greg doing Greg, really. I mean, he, it's him doing the one thing he does, you know, almost to a standard that is, that is admirable, which is just be completely wrong all the time in the most in the most fucking irritating and arrogant and pretentious and and just up his own fucking ass way and it's no one else's fault and it's all him it's just all it's all a conspiracy against him he's never done anything wrong and now he's got to go well, I figured, folks, it was like, great. I mean, I know it's Onision, you know, it didn't take much thought, this video, but how could I possibly put thought into something that you can refute simply by being alive, right? Now, like I said, there's not much, but I, you know when you're at a party and you're just, you know, and you're a bit stuffed and someone walks past with a fucking tray of cakes and you're like, oh, yes, go on, you know. Or be naughty, you know. You just think, yeah, go on. So I thought, fuck it. Go on, Greg. Once more. Once once more. Up to the onto the br uh, to the breach, my Mac Mac, good man, whatever the fucking phrase is. On the count of three. Gregory ready. Yeah, you will go on my first whistle. And uh, let's crack on. So this video, this is thank you and goodbye, you know, from Onision. Be careful. Get your tissues ready. You won't get upset, but you might get an erection from this one. About 10 years ago, Shiloh made me a promise. Your career is being unfinished. Trust me, I'm capable of it. Shiloh made me a promise 10 years ago. 10 years, Greg. Isn't this a bit... Elaborate even for you. Ten years she made you a promise. And of course, she meant it wasn't a it wasn't a heat of the moment thing. She said she's capable of it. She's look, he's got it on film. Who films this shit? Now I actually want to destroy you because you've destroyed me. You're done. And then you'll be left with nothing. This was ten years ago, and just like clockwork, ten years... Do you know, Greg, Greg, the, t the cop showed up minutes later and said, okay, Greg, ten years, that's the same length of time of planning, preparation, and execution that Al-Qaeda put into 9-11. And you think that Shiloh walked out of that door... And said, I will destroy your career because you have destroyed me. She didn't just get on with it and let nature take its course. This is, believe it or not, Greg, I know it's not like, I know it's very unlike you. You don't like, normally I should be congratulating you for giving credit to other people. But believe us, Greg, when we, believe me when I say, your undoing has been pretty much one you know, of your own creation. And I love that you film shit like this. Like, this is your, this is your disease, mate. You just why you shouldn't be on this fucking website. It's made you get the camera out at times like this. Shortly after the police showed up, because I had called the police on her, and they physically escorted her out of my house. That was nice, that was nice. Big tough boy there, weren't you? You, you, you big muscly, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, you see, big, you know, what? You couldn't get her off your house, could you? You needed the police. You used to be in the military, didn't you? What, what, what as? A fluffer? But as I said, Shiloh threatened my career. Well, there you go. I mean, that's part, that is part one, yeah. No one else has done that. No one else has ever threatened you, have they, Greg? Hmm? I believe, actually, the reason you blocked me on Twitter was because I said something to the effect of I hope someone goes gets a kebab knife and goes full Gaddafi on your anus or something like that. And you were like, why would you, anybody wish that upon another human being? And the answer being simply, because wishing doesn't make something true, you know. 
I think people have threatened you a lot. It's not, I think to hold Shiloh to this, I think it would be, we could fill up a very nice little book of quotes of things that your ex-girlfriends have been driven to say to you. She said she wanted to destroy me for dumping her. She said I'd be left with nothing after she's done ruining my life. Right, okay, well those sort of, th those last two are pretty much the same, aren't they? I mean, destroying someone, ruining their life, leaving them with nothing, these are all pretty much the same. And you're attributing to her, she threatened your career. If she was angry at you, Greg, she was, she was, human beings have these things, Greg, called emotions. I know that, I know that cyborgs like yourself don't fully understand this, this concept. But when they feel things, they can say things when they're really angry. I'd have thought you, of all people in the last few months, would understand and appreciate the nature of a human being in a state of emotional distress, doing things that are maybe slightly regrettable or they don't mean or they don't, I've said things like, I've said things that, you know, because, uh, well, probably at you. I've never even met you, let alone had you shag me for several years. I think the police took her away, Greg, because you just took... And of course, the reason the police took her away is because she threatened to take her own life because I broke up with her. To, to, if someone threatens to take their own life, Greg, the police do not arrest them and take them away from you. That's not against the law. And I love this one. She threatened to... She was going to kill herself and then frame him for her death. And you... You absolute... And it's taken her to... I'm not, so so she, she backed out of that one, did she? That was plan A. So plan B... So the first thing was to destroy your career. And the first thing she comes up with is killing herself and making it look like you've done it. Right, of course, Greg, here's the thing. She wouldn't have to actually make do anything to make it look like you've done it. Because I can pretty much say there would be split. It would be, oh no, look, it would be split down the middle. Probably with a lot of people saying, well, you know, I don't know that he did it. There's no, but I could see him totally doing it though. You cooked a tortoise in a box once by accident by leaving the poor cunt out in the sun. You know? You're the kind of geezer I can see doing that. You know those fucking idiots who leave, a, who leave their kid in the back of a, of a car on a fucking 140 degree day? They come back and the little bastard's poached. Right? That's just going to be you, isn't it? Right? She threatened to you. She's going to frame you. Who does? How would you even go about that? And who, who is the thing? Part of the satisfaction of destroying your life, Greg, I'm pretty sure, comes from getting able to see it. What, how would she possibly frame you for her own death? She could. It sounds to me like it, that genuinely sounds to me, Greg, like she. I mean, here's a thought, Greg. You are filming it, aren't you? And she's at the camera there, isn't it? I mean. Pardon me, but I'm farting with excitement there because I just realised that's the twist. The twist the whole time is that you were recording it. So when they say, we're arresting you, Mr. Gregory Onision, whatever your fucking name is. We are arresting you, sir, madam, madam, sir, uh, on, on the murder of Shiloh in, you know, with, with whatever the fuck. And you go, no, look this. And you show them your YouTube channel. And they look at you like the sad sack of shit you are and walk away. Sir, and she specifically stated that she was going to make it look like I did it, i.e. framing me for her suicide. Yeah, I mean, it's a brilliant plan. Foolproof. Always works. Uh, I mean, I think, if anything, we talk about false accusations. That's taking it to a new tier level, isn't it? I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't want to go down the false rape accusation, but I would go with false rape accusation first, before I killed myself. If that didn't work, one is easier to frame than the other, isn't it? Greg, but everyone probably thinks you're a sort of a bit of a murderer already, you know, or something, you know. Those kids you marry go somewhere, I don't know where they go. This is on Onision.com slash Shiloh, a page with tons of content that proves my innocence. Onision.com slash Shiloh. That proves my innocence. Loads of content that I'm definitely going to look through that is totally reliable. Look at all that content. Literally, literally, Greg, no one's visiting that, right? I cannot think of anything I want to read fucking less than that fucking th then 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 onision.com for imagine having this as your life greg right you don't have to obviously but can we can you all imagine this you have to have sections subsections 
forward slash sections on your own website where you have documented every fucking text and tweet and fucking chat log and recorded every moment of... No wonder they go fucking mental! ...and proves why I left her in the first place. But to the internet, none of these facts matter. Same goes for Onision.com slash Sarah, where Sarah confesses that I didn't do anything illegal and that I was actually trying to defend her and take care of her and that I was keeping her from illegal activities. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, Christ, Greg! You're, I wasn't... Just having her say you're innocent was enough. Just getting her to do that. But no, you have to go down the... I was actually protecting her. I was shielding her from illegal activities. What was going to happen without you there? With, with your sword, fighting off just attackers and drug dealers and bloods and crypts and God knows what the fuck else. Antifa and MAGA heads and fucking Nazis over there. And here come the communists and oh Christ almighty, Greg. Keeping her from criminal behaviour? <laughs> did, did you put a chastity belt on this? That I was keeping her away from drugs and so forth. I was keeping her away from drugs. You, you telling me she cannot possibly be trusted not to take drugs without you there? God, there's a choice, isn't it, folks? Do you want drugs or do you want to be forced to live with Onision sober forever? Keeping her away from drugs? Oh, fuck off. This ain't even white knighting. This is just bollocks. And that I was actually keeping her safe in general. But I didn't know oh, keeping her safe in general. Yes, Greg. Young women, very young women, have always been very well looked after around you, as we saw with evidence with with Your Honor Exhibit A, the start of this video. That bo that b bald blonde. Shaven-headed fucking, you know, lesbian pool champion who was you, who was other one of your, uh, you were married to. Fucking threatening to kill herself on camera. Again, none of these facts matter. None of her admissions of what she did wrong matters. The only thing that matters is that people do not like me. Oh, oh, oh of course, Greg. Come on, mate. You can do better than this. Come on, is this it? You're not even... See, this is why you need to leave, Greg. You're not even trying. First of all, these are facts. First of all, Greg... These are not facts. These are assertions, Greg. These are assertions made. One of them, okay, these are things being said by an alleged victim of someone's abuse um, and then being presented by the abuser. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, Greg, but if there's ever a situation where someone is being, uh, is, is living under a sort of, you know, under duress or they're being uh, held captive, so to speak, or they're being constantly... Um, you know, they're, they're being controlled and manipulated. There's a tyrannical force, a controlling, manipulative person, like an occult leader or something. I don't know if you're aware, or a wife beater or something. I don't know if you're aware of this, Greg, but those women are very, very easy. It's very, very easy to get them to go up to people and say, Oh, what this? Oh, this, oh, this black heart. Oh, no, God. Walked into a door. Yes, I know. Uh, that is the 35th consecutive Friday in a row I've walked into the door. Yes, I know it's got like the, it's got these ring shapes on. Have you, have you noticed? Have you ever seen one of those videos uh, of uh, like of um, a sort of an American who's been captured by like Islamic extremists? by ISIS, and they've kept him there, and they bring him out in their fucking potato sack with an ear missing, right, and they haven't had a washing fucking signal, and they're basically crying and look like shit, and their teeth are falling out, and they get them to read from a bit of paper, saying, they are treating me very well, please do not come and, re I mean, have you seen it, do you think those are real, Greg? You know they're not, right? You know that those fuckers are actually lying, you know? So yeah, those two girls who were who went on, who uh, went, were interviewed and defended R. Kelly. Yeah, so, yeah, so her fucking testimony is worth shit, right? And you're fucking, and the fa this is a fact. You're so adamant, this is a fact. And it's just because people hate you. And I love how you brush over. You say it's just because people hate you. People hate you so much that they have to. Greg, no one gets this much shit as, as you get. For no reason. The question, Greg, you see, you say people just hate me. Well, why do they hate you, Greg? Now, I will be the first to admit, I will agree with you to some extent. There are some people out there who jump on that Onisian bandwagon. They see that money train. 
from all the views and shit, and they fucking run with it, and they will follow you round, like, and I find some of the, as much as I enjoy watching some of these documentaries, like, like these sort of like, little documentaries on YouTubers, and you know, these weirdos you, YouTubers who people obsess over, there is an aspect in a part of me that's also thinking, well, yeah, this guy, yes, this person's pathetic and they're sad and it's silly and it's embarrassing and it's cringy and it's like yada yada yada. But at the same time, I'm sat here going, who are these arseholes who fucking document this crap? Who, like, that guy's a loser, but there are people following him like fucking David Irving following Hitler, right? I just want to know, okay? Right? Like yeah, that Nick Bravo, that fucking literal homeless guy. There were people who got obsessed with him so much, they followed him around. They had a forum dedicated to him, to fucking stalking a fucking tramp. I mean, and then these people get, and then eventually these fuckers disappear, and these poor bastards have got nothing to do. I don't want to be like that. So there are some people who do, say, but that's your own fault, Greg. The reason they do it is because videos of bashing you get a lot more views than most other videos because you're so, just, it's so easy to hate you. And the reason it's easy to hate you, Greg, is not because, it's not for no, it's not because you bring out some, there's a, there's a certain level of dignity and, and, and majesty and this. it's not because you're such a, you're, you're such a good, warm spirit, you're such a brilliant, you know, loving soul. You're such, a, you're such an angelic, wonderful, good human being that when people see you, they feel bad. And when they see you trying to help people and doing all these wonderful things, they see you and they feel bad, so they have to hate you for making them feel bad. This is virtue signalling in reverse. No, Greg, people hate you, you know, or by your own terms, based purely on nothing more than everything you've ever said, done, or claimed to be, right? I, for one, right, I never talked about your drama. I never talked about, right, I made a couple of, I made a video making fun of Shiloh when she had a mental breakdown. There was the whole sepsis thing, right? I've brought it up once in a while. I follow it. I don't make it. All my videos to you, Greg, have all been about you saying shit that was dangerous, stupid, and completely ignorant, and you needed to be called out for it. Things like, you know, things like, you know, you, you, you did things like, you know, um, uh, certain levels of hypocrisy within telling bad jokes. Is there a line with comedy? A line with comedy, he once asked. Have you seen this? You filmed your missus having a mental breakdown and threatening to kill herself, and then talk about it like it's a big fucking deal. And now you've you've got your own you've got your own evidence section on your own website. You want to talk about fucking lines, mate. Right? You talked about self-harming, you talk about suicide. You can't even defend the idea of not killing yourself. Right? That's what makes your stuff dangerous. Right? And it's because you think you're you know if anything, you know this, and you don't. And you're talking to an audience who don't know either. Oh God, that's a rant. We're only taking one minute into this video. Thank God it's too short. And that is internet justice. Guilty until proven guilty. And even when you're proven not guilty, you're still guilty. Okay, first of all, Greg, you haven't been proven anything. Secondly, well, I hear this a lot. You hear this a lot. Whenever someone's accused of something, you'll always hear people saying, well, look, it's innocent until proven guilty. You know, it's innocent. Oh, not on the internet, though. Oh, no, they have to say, you know, oh, whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Let me just say something for the record. Fuck you and your innocent until proven guilty bullshit. I, right, innocent, let's just get this straight. Innocent until proven guilty is not a, just a general rule of thumb, okay? It is a legal fucking standard. It is a principle on which justice systems have to fucking operate. They have to operate on the assumption that until proven otherwise, you have not committed a crime. And if you're accused of a crime, you are brought in, you are questioned, you might even be tried for it, and then they will determine whether or not you are not guilty or guilty because you notice that's the difference isn't it it's not innocent you're innocent until accused the second you're accused you're no longer innocent you are at best not guilty but you do, but that's irrelevant i have i owe you fuck all greg 
Ev and everybody else owes you. No one on the internet who you, you decided to come onto this place. You decided to record your life. You decided to put the worst bits of it on fucking video and fucking edit it for us. You made that decision. You showed us your hand. And it's, uh, and pardon us. Pardon us for looking at it and going, you know, fuck it, and brushing it away and then back slapping you with our own. I don't have to fucking sit here and f I don't owe you an innocence until proven guilty. I'm not going to sit here. I'm under no obligation. I am under no fucking, you know, there is nothing forcing me or, you know, or there is no reason that I have outside of maybe my own lack of understanding. I have every fucking right to hear an accusation against you. I have every right to fucking sit there and go, yeah, do you know what? He, he seems like the type. I reckon he done it. And that's it. And it could be, you could be innocent completely. It doesn't matter. I think you're guilty. And I can say I think you're guilty. And do you know what? There's fuck all you can do about it. So don't give me, and so anytime you hear someone saying this fucking innocent until proven guilty bollocks, it's crap. It's a legal standard, it's not my standard, I can think whatever the fuck I want, and believe me, this is the internet, Greg, and we do. And you ain't been proven to be nothing. And the fact you're so desperate to prove, to use the word proof and fact, like, as if it's conclusive, makes me think that you know it's not. So as you know, Tom Felton was accused of grooming once upon a time. You guys are no doubt familiar with Johnny Depp being accused of things that he didn't do. You got Alan DeGeneres accused of numerous things. For a time it appeared a show might shut down. Elton John was accused of sexual harassment. Was... Johnny to Ellen DeGeneres. Elton John. Oh my god! Oh my god, Greg, the ego. The fucking ego. I need a cigarette with this one. The ego of this man. You're bringing up. Okay, okay. I let's see. So where's he going with this one? Okay, so Greg, you've been accused of things, not very nice things, obviously. Of course they're not very nice things. Why would there be? It's you, you know, it wouldn't be drama, otherwise no one's going to get... There's not going to be internet drama, you're not going to get a flame war, are you? Because you, someone had falsely accused you of stealing a pencil. No, so what are you going to do? So you just go round. What you've done here, Greg, is you've decided, in order to muddy the water, in order to sort of show that, hey, you know, I, uh... Uh, you know, before you sit there and assume that I'm guilty just because someone says so. Bear in mind, this is his third best argument so far. The first one is a girl, is one of his ex-girlfriends was driven to nearly suicide ten years ago. That's his first piece of evidence that he's never done anything wrong. His other one is the fact he's got a website with a whole page section dedicated to evidence that proves he's not a rapist or a murderer. Right? And, um... Then he's got this, which is going round on Google and typing in celebrity false accusation. You've got Johnny Depp. Yeah, well, I mean, Johnny Depp, he was accused of Elton John. Elton John, my friend. Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. And, you know, all of these fucking... You know, <laughs> Elton John. I don't know who they're on. Tom Felton. Did he really? Right. Should have changed his name, really, before he was accused. <laughs> I mean, you're putting yourself... Yes, Greg. People have been accused of things they didn't do before. It has happened, right? Literally, no one needs you to point that out to us. Nobody, Greg. But I love how you're doing this. You, you could just say the burden of proof is... You, you seem desperate to prove that you're not guilty. You can't really do that. But, but Greg, simply finding examples of people who have been accused of stuff who pro didn't do it and saying, look, that doesn't work, Greg, because I could say, well, here's Harvey Weinstein. He did it. Here's Kevin Spacey. He did it. Here's R. Kelly. He's got fucking, t he's got nine fucking documentaries made about him doing it. Here's Jimmy Savile. Right? Here's another fucking 95 people. Right? I could do that, couldn't we? Does that mean you're guilty? No, it doesn't mean you're guilty any more than this means you're innocent. But what I love about this, Greg, is the fact that you thought that you, you're sitting there going, you're naming Johnny Depp and fucking Elton John. You're not... You could have found any example. You have to find these celebrities because that's what you want people to think you're... You are not Elton fucking John, mate. You ain't even Elton John's fucking shoe. You're not even his wig. Right? 
He's fucking. You're not Johnny. De you're not Elder. Greg, have you seen the views you get on your videos? Right. Have you seen how fucking little interest there is? Your last video before this one on your two million subscriber channel, right? You uploaded it a month, a couple of weeks ago. It's got it's got eleven thousand views out of ten out of two million. So you're not just not only are you not Elton John or not Johnny Depp, you're not even fucking Onision anymore. You're not even Onision from ten years ago. You ain't even Dick Coughlin from ten years ago, and I'm the fucking has been of a never was. So so please, what the fuck is this shit? There's an email from YouTube essentially telling me that I can no longer make money on YouTube. <laughs> No longer. Oh yeah, well done YouTube, well done sir. It's only taken you 13 years to get this fucking, this, this, this glass-eyed, empty, vacuous, soulless, fucking just demented, scary, fucking, you know, discount, wannabe, Caucasian R. Kelly off your fucking web because you're not going to give him money anymore. It's, it's, like, it's amazing. Hold on. It's, 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 go back. I mean, just go back and see that. Look at this fucking email. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is from, first of all, who the fuck's James? Your name's James, is it? Your name's James, though, is it? James. But listen, it's from the YT uh, hyphen partner hyphen support hyphen at google.com. That sounds like one of those fake dodgy ones, doesn't it? Where, Yes, this is uh, this is email one hyphen zero three five zero 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 three one zero five zero. YouTube notice regarding your channel's monetization status. Yes, and and it says, "Hi James, responsibility is our number one priority at YouTube." Oh, is it fucking bollocks? It's it, it's responsibility when people are paying attention. Alex Jones was on this website for fucking eight since the beginning. He was around before the. He didn't even need the internet when he was when you know before the internet because he screamed so loud people could hear him fucking five hundred miles away. Responsibility, really. This is where he has his breeding ground for these young women who are you know most of whom you know don't need to worry about waxing their their, their bikini lines because they wouldn't know what a pubic hair was if it fucking spat in their face. Probably something he ain't done there either. I'm sure, Greg, there is something you get out of fucking someone too young to remember the fucking Ninja Turtles, but this is probably not the basis for a relationship. But the best bit about this is the reply email. Look at this. It's like, at YouTube Partner Support and from James. But I was proven innocent here. Look, he's got this fucking, he's got his little links. Onision.com forward slash Syro. Silo. Onision.com forward slash Sarah. Can we get this in? Can we just understand? Can we understand here and appreciate the level of absolute detachment from reality Greg is demonstrating here? Because Greg thinks that, first of all, you do know that YouTube aren't exactly, they're not exactly well known for their, how can we say, their human resources, customer service, you know. These are people who can't even be bothered to watch a fucking video to determine whether or not it's, you know, it violates the terms of service as it's been flagged up for. They can't even be bothered to do that. These are people who won't email you unless you've got a channel that has any kind of significance that earns their money. This is a bunch of people who literally invented a computer program to go around flagging videos automatically. And the and it was brilliant. It's a brilliant Swiss system. Do you know why? Because it somehow is worse than what they already did. And you think, Greg, I've literally just, every, when I've had videos flagged for no reason, I've literally bombarded them with just loads of crap. Loads of, loads of shit, as much offensive shit as I can, just to see if anyone's there. They're never there, Greg. Right, but not only, but you, you are not, not only do you think that they're really there, right? Not only do you think that they're really there, you have linked them to your website, right? And again, Greg, this does not prove you innocent. What this proves, Greg, is that 
all you're doing is giving YouTube a reason to suspect that you might, they might want to, you know, consider not paying a guy who is a serial, serial abuser um, of, you know, over the last, you know, the guy, I mean, you're Greg, you are Greg, Greg. I mean, you are, you are Onisian, you are the banana guy. That's what you're famous for, Greg. Uh, yeah, one video that you did 11 years ago. You've done nothing since. Oh, oh! In the last year, you uploaded the you re-uploaded the banana video in about 47 different forms, as if we needed it. Yeah. But that's one of the things you were on Tosh 2.0. I mean, and that's how you should be remembered. And that's how you should want to be remembered, Greg. But if you but if you're at the moment, thanks to Chris Anson and all this other shit of you know this accumulative effort and this this sort of uh, you know sort of this coming together, this climaxing of literally 13 years of you treating people like shit. All of this has now erupted all over your face and glued your eyes shut. And you've now got a choice, Greg. Do you want to be the guy who Chris Hansen joined the internet so he could, you know, take him down? And Chris Hansen, FYI, is full of fucking shit. He was full of shit from day one. He used to be a TV, he's a TV star. He's a fucking icon. He was a legend. Everyone heard of Chris Hansen. Now he's on the, he's on YouTube. Going after Onision. Things people, something people like me and other people with no fucking, with no actual fucking qualifications or no one could do, have been doing decades ago. All right, he's doing it on live streams with Blair White. That's how much of a cunt you are, Greg. Can you appreciate this? You are such a fully rigged, you know, ocean going, 42 carat, church fate prize winning marrow sized cunt that Blair White is able to just be, be brushed. She can get away with just, when she, she can sit there as if she's a normal person that who deserves to be listened to, as if she's a human being who is not in every single way as fucking unmitigatedly fucking vile as you. But no, you've just got it. You, you top Blair White. I want to know who you couldn't have a drama with who would come out looking good. It looks like they had a whole speech planned just for me. Oh my god, Greg! Please, can... Greg, can one thing in this world... Can you view anything as... The, they had this whole speech planned just for me. No, motherfucker, that's called an algorithm. Right? Algorithm. Yeah. Algorithm. Algorithe. Come on, oh, Greg, it's bobsled time. Like, you're... <laughs> You've got this fucking... You do know this is all copy and paste shit, mate. This is a template, right? The fucker on the end... Right? It's still got more personality, charm, charisma and fucking sentience than you have, but it's still a fucking computer... Pro it's, all, it's all speech. They had a speech plan. Oh, God, everybody, please. Onision has emailed us. Right, please, everybody be quiet. I must go and prepare, right? Everyone, for God's sake, Dave, put a tie on. Right, the, a uh, Gregory, yes, Onision, yes, a man whose combined total views over the last year has, has literally earned this entire company um, a, a, a sum of money that, you know, is probably something, but what, it's what stat statisticians would call uh, negligible data. It's not, it's not all about you, Greg. It's never about you, man. It ain't now anyway, is it? This is why you've got to go. You've got to go because you know it's over. You know. Who knows, maybe this could be a carbon copy email. But... Maybe it could, Greg. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have a round of applause? Can we have a victory lap for Onision? <laughs> suddenly realising that something in this world is... Some things in this world are not all about him. Sometimes... People like him can be fucking debt brushed aside with a mere computer program. You wouldn't even need a computer program. That fucking paper clip from the fucking 90s could have, like, could have done that. 
Jesus Christ, a speaking spell in the hands of a baboon would have dealt with this one quite fucking easily. But unfortunately, after about 14 years on the platform, because of Shiloh following through with her promise to destroy my life, destroy my career, leave me with nothing, here I am with this email. Yes, blah, blah, yes, just fuck off, Greg. Blah, 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 listen, uh, listen to you. So, what are you talking about? No, this is... All of... Everything I've worked for is gone. Greg, it was gone already, mate. Like I said, 10,000 views on a channel with 2 million subscribers. That's the equivalent right now. I've got nothing in terms of subscriber count. I've got 3,200. That's the equivalent, Greg. Imagine 12 people watching me, right? Imagine I get 12 fucking views as a video, right? Do you know, do you know how bad that is? It's not like they've gone away. They just don't fucking have anything. They've probably made new accounts, right? That's how bad it's got. And you did that. There's a reason. If you've got two million people subscribed to your channel, Greg, and when you upload a video, only 10,000 of them bother clicking on it. And bear in mind, this is you. So probably a large number of those people hate you already. But think about that, Greg. Think about what you have to do. The audience are there. That's not an excuse. Don't give me this crap about everything I've worked for is gone. You absolute fucking spineless shitbag. You rank fucking... Un you just... Uh, I can't even think of a fucking word anymore. I've been outsworn. Right? I can't even think of a form of an abusive term. You have, tri you, have you have superseded everything in terms of what an insult deserves. And the only way I could think of it, I could actually insult you in a way that I feel is close to adequate would involve me using many, many ableist and racial slurs at this point, and I'm not going to get in trouble, Greg. Right? Not that I'm not going to get monetized, right? You know, Greg, I've, I haven't been monetized for years. I haven't made money for fucking years. Right? And everything I've fucking done, I've had fucking, I'm on my fifth channel now, and it always gets taken down. I had 35,000 subscribers 10 years ago, then I lost one channel, and then that channel got to 25,000 went down. Then I had one of 14,000 went down. Then the last one went down, it was just about 12 and a half, 13,000. Now I'm on this one with 3,000, and I'm still fucking here. Did you see me crying on YouTube? Did you see me writing an email saying, but please, please, like, you she would have actually, but I got on with it. I didn't sit there and go, this is all for nothing now. None of it ever mattered. Nothing you've ever done matters, Greg. Name one fucking video you've made that was fucking worth the effort. Name one. Right? What my video, you know that video you made about self-harming? Well, the response video I made, Greg, right? You want to fucking talk about a video that mattered. Right? Do you know, in that week, I made that video, I uploaded a video talking about my experience with self-harming. And, and, and in that one week after it uploaded, I received over 400 fucking private messages from complete strangers, each one about 4,000 words long. People who had always, so people who had suffered from, um, from and the self-harmed and had gone through it, and they, they saw it and they were like, thank you, right? thank you, someone made a video about this where they told the truth. And they were thanking me. Some people even thanked me because until they saw my video, they didn't really understand why. And I told them why. I said, this is one reason I did it. And they were like, that makes sense. I'm not some weirdo freak who's dangerous. I shouldn't be ashamed. I'm, this is just me. I'm broken. Where yeah, we all are. Right? That's a video that mattered, Greg. I didn't receive penny one from that. Right? Most, at most it's got about probably 50,000 views, but that was a video that changed people's fucking lives. What have you ever done? Nothing. You, could, you wouldn't know how to do anything, would you? You don't care about doing anything. Imagine waking up one day, right? If you're, I'm talking to the real people now. Can you imagine waking up one day and you've got five million subscribers over three audiences, over three channels? And what do you upload? Have you seen fucking Onision's let me go through some of this shit. Let me just find this fucking... Right, this is your Onision Speaks channel, which became your main channel, right? I'm going to read to you, folks. These are some of the video titles. I mean, you can go and watch them if you want. The world will be not be better off. You will simply be left with this... 
huh? sort of look on your face. Um, here are videos that Greg uploaded for, that he thought the world needed to hear. That he wanted to, this is what he wanted, his, this is his gift to humanity. Uh, what we got here? Um, why do some black people have yellow eyes? That's a, and he spent one minute 43 seconds on that. That's a, that's a video that, you know, he thought that was worthwhile, yeah. Um, what we got here? How do people act when they're high? How the fuck would you know? You've never fucking enjoyed anything in your life. Christ almighty. I can't imagine you on drugs. How do people act when they're high? Well, <laughs> as a man who's been around a lot of women who are suddenly a bit dizzy. How to soundproof your own basement and van. No, no, he doesn't really. Know. Yeah. Oh shit, there we go. See, Greg, they're after you. I mean, at least talk about things you know. How to get bloodstains out of your clown outfit. That would be a good one. Why do anime characters look white? Why do people do meth? That is a video that I should be making, Greg. Not you. You shouldn't be making any... I'll tell you why, Greg. Do you want to know one reason people do meth? There are many, but here's one. You. Not, not people like you. Specifically you. Is it wrong to call your boyfriend daddy? Well, it might be for you, Greg, because, you know, I think it might be wrong to call your boyfriend full stop, you know, depending on what, unless you're in Mexico or something, or in the Vatican. Are there any health benefits to self-gratification? Christ almighty. How to tell if you're circumcised or not? Ask your mum, maybe? Ask it. What do you mean? How can you not know? How to tell if someone's trans? Here's what you do, Greg. They'll tell you, or if you're that curious, ask them. What is the perfect body? This is a great one. Reasons not to kill yourself. Right? I'm going to leave it on in Mendham. Right? I know some people are for in Mendham. Right? If you're not familiar with Mendham, trust me. Right? He made a response to that video. Reasons not to kill yourself. Right? Two minutes long. Go and see. It's to, in my opinion, it might be the best response to an Onisian video ever. He sits there and for, he's got two minutes of, to, to try and talk to a young fan of his who's feeling very you know, emotional and he's going through a tough time and alludes to suicide. And Greg fails to fucking come up with a decent argument or anything comforting to tell a 14 year old. And Imbendum decides to annihilate. And by the end of this fucking vi th that video, you'll be sat there going, yeah, you know what? He's fucking right. Kill yourself. Go on, son, just to own the libs. In fact, do you know what? Do you know what, Greg? Do you know what? Fuck you, son. Do you know what? I'm, I'm so fucking done now. Do you know what? This was gonna be the last, I said this is the last time because if you're not coming back, I don't care if you come back, you're done. It's over. You are finished. If you're lucky, the few people whose fucking existence, your just vile cloud of misery that you call a fucking life, right, infected, the few people who are infected will ultimately, you know, grow up. They, some of, a lot of your people that are stuck by you, they'll be sad, but in a couple of months' time, they'll get their first pube, and then before you know it, they'll have forgotten all about you, and then, then maybe in about several decades' time, they'll go, oh, right, do you remember that guy? Yeah, God, oh, yeah, his house burnt down, yeah. That guy, you, the Rouge V for, for kids, right? That's you, Greg. That's what you'll be... You might be remembered as that banana guy. But probably from people who, you know, can only do so via writing it on the walls in human shit, in their padded cells. I'm not going to finish your video. You don't... Not only do you not deserve your YouTube channel, not only do you not deserve your money for your revenue, not only do you not deserve anything. Do you know what you, do you, know what you do deserve, Greg? You talk about what you earn. You know what you've earned, right? What you've got. And one of the things you've got, Greg, is me. And I am but one man. And I am irrelevant. And I, you know, I, I, I don't care. I know I'm irrelevant. I don't need what you need, right? You need this shit. I dread to think when I will next hear your name it, pop it up on the fucking news. 
when 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 this kicks in, when the fucking when you being unable to have your little YouTube channel and have your wailing sycophants of prepubescent girls who, you know. Who, who don't have a fucking, they don't understand anything, and all the lads who are like all really confused and like, oh god, Greg, tell us what to think, you know? You're four times our age, you must know something. They, you know, they'll learn, they'll learn, they're kids, they're smarter than you, you know? That's what you, but you've earned this, Greg. You've earned the right, you have earned the right to occasionally, right, have your content viewed and imbibed by this pasty, pale, scruffy, you know, tw skinny jean wearing, 28 inch waisted, fucking black bagged under his eyes, pink fucking hair flopping over his head, fucking stuttering, stammering, middle aged mess of a man who delights in doing anything he can to abuse and humiliate and hurt you and to tell you to make sure if nothing else right if it doesn't change a single mind you know what he does Greg is deep down you know you know you're wrong you must know you're wrong Greg deep down I know you mightn't admit it you don't have to admit it, Greg. I don't need you to admit it because I know deep down, I know behind your eyes, you know everything that's happened to you, Greg, is what you deserve. But now you won't have your audience there to back up and to, f and to sit there and water your delusions. You won't have your fucking imagination and your alternative reality, you know, reinforced and confirmed by a bunch of young kids who don't know any better. You're gonna have to sit there in a room with no one else there and but your own personality. And as I'm sure you know, as well as anyone else, Greg, as Shiloh learnt, and Sky learnt, and Sarah, and fucking all the other ones, the other ones whose names I didn't fucking, I've never heard of before, all of them, right? All of those people, every person, who has had to spend time around you knows, Greg, that you, you the, the, the last thing that, the last thing I would want is for you to, ev to, to ever, you know, to have your life ended or to you to come to some harm, be put in a coma. No, Greg, I want you, Greg, contrary to what you would instinctively think, I want you to live for as long as humanly possible and beyond because I cannot think of a worse fucking punishment for any human being, but especially you, Greg, than for you to have to wake up every fucking day and know one thing, and it's the only thing you have ever known, Greg, and that is that you are Onisian. Or James. And that's it. That's all you are. And Onision is not someone anyone wants to be because Onision is a bad, bad man. He's a nasty, evil little shit. He's wrong. He's abusive and he is hateful and he doesn't give a fuck about anyone but himself. And if he's only ever locked in a room with himself, that's all you'll ever give a fuck about. But he won't even care about that. Huh? No one likes you, Greg. Get this through. Nobody likes you. Right? Not even your pets like you. Your pets have no choice. They haven't got thumbs. They can't work door handles. Right? Nobody who has ever... Your parents don't like you. You're fucking... You've got children, and I guarantee you, get prepared, because they're either going to disown you or the other way around, because they are going to... No child. No child is going to fucking look at you and go, I want to be like this guy. Right? No one. And that's your life. And I hope it lasts a long time. Because fucking God knows you deserve it. You deserve to have to put up with yourself. Because there are millions of people on this planet who did not have to fucking do that. Who didn't have to know you. Who didn't have to wake up and go, oh yeah, that guy exists. Well, not anymore. And do you know who does though? Me. So on behalf of everyone in the world, Greg,
including people who haven't been born yet and people from the past who never had a chance. Let me say to you, fuck off. And that's it. Just keep going. No one wants you here. No one needs you here. You are surplus to requirements. And you are incapable of giving us any joy or satisfaction or value. You're worthless. If, in, if, the, if you were in that film, The Fly, and you got in to the teleportation pod, right, imagine that if instead of a fly, Seth Brundle had got into the pod with a piece of shit, right? That's what would have come out of the other end, is you. That's all you are. My name's Dick Coughlin. I hope you've enjoyed this unnecessary... And if you think I'm editing this shit together, fuck you. You can... I'm not raising more effort than is necessary. I've already... There's a bit of a sweat on there. There's sweat, Greg. Unnecessary. It's fucking minus 12 out here. Right? That's the... Yeah, you're getting turned on again, aren't you? Sorry, I said 12. Shouldn't have said that. So, um, but thank you all for, uh, for staying in the song, if any of you had. Be sure to make sure, make sure that if, you, if there is any way you can contact Greg to let him know uh, that you hope one day he gets his head stuck in a fence and then gets his arse destroyed by a shire horse, then feel free to do so. My name's Dick Coughlin, I'm Brother Neuro. Good night, may God be less. And where there's no sense, there's no Onisian.